Hey guys, it's Shantrinas, and here is my full foundation routine. I finally have my setup in a way that I like, so I plan on making a lot more makeup tutorials and makeup videos and updates about cosmetology school and all of that jazz, but look how good my skin looks. Um, the side by side with this photo finish on the left and then nothing on the right. I've always really liked these types of primers, so this is kind of like a silicone primer that really blurs out the skin and I have nothing on the right side and then the primer on the left. And you can't tell me that looks bad. Like, that looks amazing. And I'll continue to use this every time I do my makeup. Next, I'm taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pomade and Ebony. Don't be afraid of this, okay? It works perfectly fine. Um, as long as you're not too heavy handed, then you should be fine. I feel like that's the biggest trick and tip that I can give you when it comes to working with brow pomades. Just don't use too much. Start at the ends of your eyebrow and then work your way towards the front. That way you're not giving off those blocky eyebrows. And then also to use your spoolie end to blend out whatever you have in the front and not make it too heavy. My right eyebrow was not really cooperating with me today, but you know what? We still fixed it with some concealer. I used the NARS Soft Matte Concealer in Amande, and I really love this stuff. I'm literally hitting pan right now, and I need to get some more, but... Definitely a lifesaver when it comes to doing my eyebrows. Doing this just helps to clean up the eyebrows and I use this brush that I have from Anastasia. Okay, the brush that I'm using here is amazing. It's from Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's their number 18 brush and hopefully they still sell this. I don't know. I just have it in my makeup drawer and I use it, okay? So yeah, you can tell my left eyebrow is giving. My right eyebrow is, uh, I, I don't know what it's doing but it's, it's annoying me. But it's okay, we fixed it, it's fine. I'm, I ended up being happy with this in the end. Next, I'm taking this from Wet n Wild. It's their Mega Liner. I love this eyeliner. I learned about it on TikTok during quarantine and I just have not put it down ever since. I use this to line the outline of my eyebrows at the ends to make it darker. I actually shave off my eyebrows at the ends, so this just makes it so it looks a little darker and I don't know, I feel like it just gives a better look overall. The foundation that I'm using is from Chanel. It's their Ultra Latent. This is their Ultra Latent foundation. It's supposed to be ultra comforting, all day wear, ultra wear. And that's exactly why I got it. I'll be honest with you though, I don't remember when I bought this. I saw it sitting in my foundation drawer and I decided to use it one day and I was like, wow, this foundation is actually really good. As you guys know, I'm in cosmetology school, so everything I wear has to be long wearing, long lasting. I also usually have work right after school, so I'm literally wearing makeup from like 7 a.m. to sometimes 10 p.m. at night. So my makeup has to stick onto my face and I sweat in school, you know, from doing hair and blow drying and all that. And I also sweat at work running around helping out clients. So my makeup has to stay on. Next, I'm taking the MAC Concealer in NC50. This is their Studio Radiance Concealer. I tend to mix my concealers with LA Girl Pro Concealers just because I like that extra bit of coverage. And it also makes it look really nice in photos. So you'll see me do that in a second. This concealer works really good by itself too, but I just like to add on a little bit more coverage. So that's why I add on the LA Girl Pro on top of it. But I have a TikTok short that I made where I'm just wearing this by itself. If you wanna see what that looks like, I'll link it down below. But here is the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Fawn and Creamy Beige. So first I put on the Fawn kind of like right underneath my eye and then the Creamy Beige more in the center. I just want it to brighten right underneath my eye right there because I have this little fold kind of, I, I don't know what that's called, but I'm trying to cover that up. So that's why I use those two together. I've tried this method on a couple of different concealers that I have and it always works really well, but I don't like how the LA Girl Pro Concealer looks by itself. So that's why I always put it on top of something else. And I don't know, it just, it always looks so good. I don't know how to explain it. I don't know what that stuff is made out of, but it looks great in videos and in photos and in person. Okay, after that, then we go in with the Kimchi Puff Puff Pass. I use the shade Peachy and it has been working out really well. So what I'll do is I'll set very lightly underneath my eyes, tap off the excess, otherwise it's gonna look really cakey. Put it underneath the eyes just where I want to set. And you really don't need that much. You don't really need that much for this part. And then go in after that with your baking. So this is the same powder, except I'm using a lot more. After that, I use whatever's left over on my sponge and put that all over the face. 
I was so nervous trying to get this because I got it on the TikTok shop and I wasn't sure which color to get. So I'm so glad this worked out, but I got the shade Peachy and I'm using that pretty much everywhere. So heavier layer underneath my eyes and then just really light everywhere else. Next is my favorite purchase I've ever made in my life ever. It's the Fenty Beauty Mocha Mommy Bronzer. I use this stuff everywhere. So I've used it as bronzer. I've used it as like nose contour. I've used it as eyeshadow. Uh, I think I've tried it as a lipstick too and it, it, it always looks good so I highly recommend this if you're on my skin tone it is just so pretty it's the perfect bronzy color it also works really well with the blushes that I'm about to show you so I really like orange blush and I use the beauty bakery RIP um, I don't, I'm, I'm pretty sure the owner sold the business so I don't know if this is gonna be the same after that but I really like this orange blush from them and then I go on top of this after this with a, another discontinued item or possibly discontinued. I don't know if this is still around. It's from MAC. It's their extra dimension. So this one is from MAC. It's from their extra dimension blush in telling glow. And it's basically the same shade, except this one has a bit of a shimmer to it. So it's like a highlight almost. When I tell you I am obsessed with this color combo, I am obsessed. I wear it every single time I wear makeup. It's kind of a bad habit because once I hit pan, like I can't get it, like I, I can't get it again. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna cry, I guess. Uh, the next thing I'm using is the Smashbox 24 hour primer and then of course my Fenty Beauty Mocha Mami. See, I told you it looks amazing as an eyeshadow. Look how good that looks. I'm also using it today as a bit of a nose contour. I, I realized that when I wear my bronzers as an eyeshadow, it looks really natural. Not right now though. <laughs> this is kind of full coverage, but whenever I do like no makeup makeup, it looks really good when I have my bronzer on with the bronzer also as an eyeshadow. Okay, at this point, I'm using this brush to sweep away the excess of the setting powder that I use, and then I'm going in with the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish, Natural and Dark. This is just my overall setting powder all over my face. I also use this sometimes by itself, but today is just setting everything else. So all the areas that I don't have blush or bronzer, that's where it's going. Mocha Mommy, again, for the nose. I'm surprised I haven't hit pan on this with how often I use it and for how many uses it has. Also notice how I don't overly contour my nose. I think it's unnecessary. I just like it to look a little warmer to go with everything else that's going on. So my setting spray is this one from Urban Decay. It's their all nighter, the hydrating hyaluronic acid formula. I usually use the one size beauty setting spray, but I'm out right now and I wanted to try out this one because I got it in gratis. I've been using it over the last couple days and I really like it, but not as much as my one size beauty, unfortunately. I'll still use the whole thing though. Next is this Kosas brow gel. I got it as a free birthday gift at Sephora. This mascara from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I actually don't really have a favorite mascara. I just kind of use whatever's in front of me. So this is the closest one to me. So that's what I use. And Glam Goth has an amazing liquid lipstick. I love that brand. I need to get some more of their makeup because this lipstick works so good and it lasted a really long time. But I'm using that just as an outline and then I'm going in with the MAC lipstick in Ruby Woo. I love how MAC lipsticks smell, but I only have like three. I have Ruby Woo, I have Deep with Envy, which is like a green color. And then there's one more, I think Velvet Teddy. Okay, last thing here is the Kat Von Z liquid lipstick in Blood Flower and then we're all set. So I hope you guys like the video. Let me know if you wanna see anything else. I've been doing some pretty cool makeup recently, but I haven't uploaded them to YouTube. I've only been posting them on Instagram. So if you want me to recreate anything, let me know and I'll see you guys next time.